Hey there folks, today I'm presenting the last of the three battles that I had with this team, which is a Pokebox 5 exclusive team that I that won't be appearing on my channel, at least not in anything that resembles this team. My opponent is Six Shadows of Smogon, and as you can see, quite obviously he's got a Hail team. Now you might notice that I've got a little layout thing going on, um, just something that I whipped up. I'm not, I'm still playing around with it, not 100% sure how much I like it, but it's here for now at least. Um, I lead off with my Mew, which uh, is a great lead to set up uh, set up um, Country Hazards, to set up my Stealth Rocks. Uh, I'm going to want to switch out here, because he's got the Leech Seed up, and there's really nothing I can do against the Bomb of Snow, because I actually don't have any attacking moves on this guy. I switch out to Gerard, um, my uh, Escavalier, who, aside from Leech Seed, I think should completely wall this Obama Snow, um, and, you know, hit back with a super effective, um, whatchamacallit, Mega Horn. So now I predict him to either protect or switch out, so I go for the Swords Dance, and I see that he stays in, and so now he knows that I'm at plus two, and I think there's no possible way he's going to want to stay in. I, th I thought he thought I was banded, although I guess he wouldn't have really thought I was banded. I go for the Pursuit, um, 2x effective, um, boosted by the fact that he switched out. It does not kill, but it does a whole, whole lot of damage to that Obama Snow. Out is going to come Heatran, and I am going to have to switch out here because there's nothing I can do to Heatran. Uh, I'm really glad that I didn't try to do anything with Heatran because that would that just not would, would not have gone well. Um, so I'm going to switch out here, and I've got the perfect Heatran counter. Um, Lenny, my Quagsire, uh, has 4x effective Earthquake, and, you know, Waterfall's not too shabby either. Of course, the switch would be pretty obvious, but I'm, you know, I actually look at his team, I see that every single one of them is grounded, so if I go for the Waterfall and he switches into Tentacruel, that would be bad, but maybe he'll predict that and switch in Tentacruel uh, tentacru and I'll go for Earthquake. He actually switches into Reuniclus, uh, which, you know, Reuniclus are pretty darn bulky, and so that Earthquake doesn't really do very much. So I'm going to want to switch out here, um, because just, you know, I'm, I don't want to go one-on-one -on -one against the Reuniclus, even though I'm not worried about getting it off any Calm Mind boosts. You know, it's, it has, still has a lot of special attack to deal with. So I send out Gerard again, as he goes for the Calm Mind. Now, I am pretty sure that he's going to be faster, um, but all I have to do is either take one Focus Blast or have that Focus Blast miss, and I can hit back with a Mega Horn, assuming Mega Horn doesn't miss. Um, so recover back a little bit of help with leftovers. He goes for the Focus Blast. I, uh, I see that it doesn't miss, and I'm thinking, okay, I just really hope I can survive. And indeed, I survive with actually a good chunk of HP. Uh, so now here I go for the Mega Horn, super effective, running off of um, Reunicl no, sorry, uh, Escavalier's monstrous attack, and I have taken down uh, the first Pokemon of the game. So that's excellent for me. I am in the lead. And hey, you can see it on the screen. Out is going to come Heatran, fairly obvious switch. I'm gonna. I, I was expecting to expect me to switch out, so I actually stayed in because at that range of health, Gerard really can't do very much. I go for the Iron Head just to get a little bit of damage off on him. I really actually would have been better off going for. Um, actually, I don't know that I would have been better off going for any other move because Heatran really completely walls me. So now it's back to five five. I'm gonna send out Lenny again, and while the switch is completely and totally obvious, I am just gonna go for the Earthquake and see what I hit. Now here comes Conkeldur, who, which I've said in the past is a huge, huge threat to my team. I really have nothing to adequately deal with Conkeldur. And that attack does a decent chunk of damage, and I'm thinking, well, maybe I can stay in and do a bunch of damage, maybe even take it out. So I am going to stay in here and just hope that he's just going to go for bulk ups and either not realize that I'm unaware, or, you know, what, what, have, not, what have you. Uh, he does go for the bulk up, and so I'm thinking, okay, that's fine with me, I can just keep racking up damage with those Earthquakes. Uh, it's doing a lot of damage to him again, <clears throat> but you know he has the Drain Punch, and based on the defense EVs of my Quagsire, he's actually going to regain more health with the Drain Punch than I can do with Earthquake. So that's this is really not a good situation for me. Um, I have Lenny just go ahead and use Earthquake. What I'm wanting here is the free switching, but honestly, I think I would have been better off switching much much earlier. Um, the, the best move for me to, would be to send out uh, Victini, I think. But the problem with that is that if I go for a V-Create, I mean, he's already gotten off a Drain Punch, so I'm a little bit worried about how much damage I would take from a Drain Punch. And so here he gets a crit and takes me out. But anyway, I was I can't go for the V-Create um, against his Conkeldurr because he could always send out Heatran. Um, but so next out for me is going to be um, Magenta, my shiny, um, whatchamacallit, Virizion. 
And here I go for the Giga Drain. Now, there was a reason for this. I miscalc this like, whoa. I completely screwed up and uh, did the calculation based on the fact that, that I was at plus one. I'm not at plus one. And so, obviously, it doesn't take him out. He's actually going to regain more health than I did damage, uh, you know, did in terms of damage. And now I am at a range of health where he's going to be able to pick me off with Mach Punch. As I said, Conkledur is a humongous threat to my team, and there's really no one I have who can counter it. Uh, you know, Mew maybe, uh, especially if I were to run Psychic instead of one of the four supporting moves that it runs, but, you know, oh well. So, he's now taken out another one of my Pokémon. Uh, I'm going to send out Victini here and uh, just predict him to go into Heatran and predicting my V-Create. I sort of go for the Fusion Bolt, but as you see, he stays in and he's at plus one defense, plus one attack. He's going to one-hit KO me with a payback, and that is going to suck. So now my Victini is down to, I am down to two Pokémon, and this battle is basically over unless I can pull off some kind of miracle. So I'm going to send out Mew here. Uh, again, I don't have any attacking moves. The best I can do is transform. And so that's what I do. I transform. So now I have the same defense as he does. And I'm going to resist his payback. Um, but he actually gets a crit, I believe. That was, yeah, that was definitely a crit. So now we're at about the same level of health. Um, and it's really going to come down to a speed tie, I figure. And so that's really the question. Who is going to win? Actually, I really wish I had calc this. Um, because as you're going to see. So he's going to go ahead and mock punch me. And it's not going to take me out. Now, I'm going to mock Punch him, and it's not going to take him out either. Had I gone for the Drain Punch, I could have regained my health. Uh, and, you know, as I saw, I sort of bought the mock Punch. So, his Conqueror goes down, my Mew goes down. It's an even sacrifice, but I really could have done better. Out now is going to come my Hydreigon. Out for him is going to be a Bomb of Snow. And now, I'm, I'm Choice. I have a Choice Scar, so I decide what move I'm going to lock myself into. If I lock myself into Surf, then Tentacruel walls me. If I lock myself into Dark Pulse, then um, Heatran walls me. Uh, if I lock myself into Dra Draco Meter, then Heatran walls me again. I go for the Dark Pulse, so Heatran is going to wall me. Um, but I figure maybe I can take down a few more Pokemon. I did take out his Abomas Snow, which is nice, so at least this isn't a completely one-sided battle. I go for the Dark Pulse here. It's really not going to do too much to his Tentacruel, and his Tentacruel is going to finish me off with a 100% accurate Blizzard. So that's great game, Six Shadows. Um, yeah... I mean, I think you can see why, I'm re why I've retired this team, or rather re completely redone this team. So, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge, folks.